Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer data from PostgreSQL to Redshift using the free open source tool SQLPipe. You can follow along by going to sqlpipe.com slash transfer data from PostgreSQL to Redshift. And there's commands that you can copy and paste to follow along. As I just said, SQL Pipe is a free open source tool that can move data from one database to another and it can be used in two ways. It can be a command line tool, and that's the easier way to use it, so it's the way we're going to do things in this tutorial. And it can also be used as a long-lived server, which is good for recurring ETL processes. If you'd like to learn more about running a SQL Pipe server, you can click this link to check out the SQL Pipe server usage guide in our docs. Um, or, if you like, you can consider contacting me for a training uh, training and consulting session. So step one is going to be installing SQL Pipe. And just to show that I don't have SQL Pipe installed yet, type SQL Pipe version, command not found, SQL Pipe. And installing SQL Pipe is really easy because it's just a executable program with no dependencies. So you don't have to download the right version of Python or Java or anything. You just have to download SQL Pipe. And you can do that by going to the downloads page. and clicking your specific system. I'm on an ARM-based Mac laptop, so I'm going to download that. And by the way, if you'd like more in-depth installation instructions, you can check out the Installing SQL Pipe documentation page. Okay, so I downloaded it, and it will go to my Downloads folder. I happen to be in that folder already in this shell. And there is the file that I just downloaded. And the first thing I need to do is grant permission for it to run. So I'll copy and paste that. Okay. And at this point, it's actually already okay to run. You can see SQL pipe version tells us what version we're using. But it's a little bit inconvenient because it hasn't been added to our path. And what that means is you need to navigate to the same directory as the file and activate it or trigger it with dot slash. We should add it to our path if we're on Mac OS or Linux with a command like this. And now I can do SQL pipe version without the dot slash in front and it will run no matter where I am running the command from. Okay, the next step is going to be gathering connection information. So you need to gather the following data about both your Postgres and Redshift systems. Hostname is the URL that it's at, port. Uh, Postgres will probably be 5432. Redshift will probably be 5439. Um, if you need to go and figure out what some of these things are, I highly recommend it because these things are essential for working with databases. And as for running a transfer, First, let's actually just show the data that we're going to move. So this shell has Postgres open. And you can see here is the data in a table called wide table, which has a bunch of different data types and a fair amount of columns. So we have some integers. We have some binary data. We have some geometry data. Uh, we have some raw bytes, some JSON, some time. So this is just to show that uh, SQL Pipe can handle a pretty wide variety of data types, and it will also handle values with nulls in it gracefully. Okay, so that was the data that was in Postgres, and let's now go to the next shell, which has Redshift open. And if I select star from target table, which is the table I want to transfer the data into, it will say the relation does not exist, but we're going to change that. And to change that, you need to take the information that you found up here and fill out this template uh, to run as a CLI command. I've already done that. Here is um, the information that I gathered about my Postgres database, and that is just a database that I spun up in AWS just now. And then here is the information about the Redshift database that I want to transfer data into. 
So you can see I just have a DB name, username, password, all that kind of stuff. And that's already probably going to be um, existing before you get to this tutorial. But one thing that you do have to notice about this command is that you need to specify a target schema and a target table. So I'm going to call my target table target table because I'm very creative. And another thing to note is that I'm using the dash dash overwrite command. And what that will do <coughs> is it will check in Redshift for the existence of target table. If it does exist, it will drop the table and recreate it with the column names and column types from the query. This is the query that is running on this source system. However, if target table doesn't exist, it will just skip over that the first step of dropping it and it will create the table. If you don't use the overwrite command or flag, sorry, and you run a query and either there isn't a table there or there's a table there that doesn't, you know, the column types do not match up with the result of that query, then SQL pipe will throw an error. All right, so let's run that command. And you can see that it says transfer complete. And we can now go to the Redshift database and select star from target table. And the results are a little bit messy, but you can see that the data is there now. Let's actually clean that up with a different display mode. And there it is. There is the data that was in Postgres, but has now been transferred to Redshift. All right, I hope this tutorial helps you guys, and please let me know if you have any questions.